Hello, my name is Brent Gove, and I could not be more excited to share with you this new model for real estate called eXp Realty Worldwide. The success of eXp now has become a multi-billion dollar company, uh, publicly traded on the NASDAQ, and, and its success is basically being undeniable. Everybody wants to know about eXp, so I get the privilege of sharing with you today all about it. Now, before I do, Briefly, I'd give you some background on me. I promise to be brief. I got started in real estate 25 years ago. I was 30, a little quick math. You know I'm 55. And uh, my first 12 years was at Remax. Wonderful experience, love that company. A very positive experience. In 2009, I made the change after 12 years to Keller Williams. And uh, of course, it was just, I, I liked it even more. As no, nothing wrong with Remax, but my experience of Keller Williams was even even better. I didn't think it could get better than Remax, but it did. Keller Williams was amazing. I put eight years in there. I was a team leader. I ran a large office in California, and then about four and a half years ago, I get a call from a friend of mine telling me all about EXP Realty, all excited, wanting my opinion. Maybe like you, you have a friend who said, give me your opinion about this new model that is gonna revolutionize the way real estate is done worldwide. By the way, we're in 19 countries with the filming of this particular business briefing on EXP. But I said, tell me all about it. I knew I would not be interested. That I can promise you. And at the end of this business brief, I'm like, how do I know more? And hopefully that's gonna be you. You'll do your due diligence. You'll check it out like I did. All right, so that was the Brent story. This is the Lori and Keeleen story of why we came over. So we were with Keller Williams, loved it. Just like Brent had to say, great, um, what am I trying to say? We great training. We moved over there because of the technology. True. Yeah, so great training. They just kept always asking us to, to come and do their art train their agents on how we do our marketing. And we kept always looking at each other saying, why would we do that when like, they're in our own market? Are I mean, I'm all about being a team player. So EXP, EXP provided us that catalyst to kind of grow our business and to teach other agents how to do it in a way that we had a vested interest in it and they had a vested interest in us. And it just seemed like a brilliant model to us. Yeah, it was all about the EXP model and why it was advantageous for us to share our marketing secrets with other agents like you. And also you get down to like the core of it. Our business grew over 100% when we joined EXP from the pillars mm -hmm. that we're gonna go over. So great training at Keller Williams, loved them as a company. EXP by far is above them 100%, I would say no comparison. Nope, absolutely not. It just, the business model makes sense. The tools that EXP has put into place definitely propels your real estate business. So here's the deal. The key to every successful business is that special human being that comes along, like a, a Bill Gates or a Steve Jobs or a Richard Branson or a, possibly a, a Henry Ford, that person who comes along and just lights the world on fire. Fire. And that person, of course, is this gentleman, Glenn Sanford. In 2009, he founded eXp and he had an idea about how to do real estate as many before have. But his company is now the fastest growing real estate brokerage in the world. It's not a franchise, it's a national and international sensation. So what is eXp all about? Well, the best way to explain that to you is the whole blockbuster Netflix. This is a perfect analogy. You take Netflix, they went to Blockbuster, who by the way, put Hollywood video out of, out of business, and they put together all the mom and pa shop videos uh, co companies out of business. You know what they did? They said, look, we can deliver the product better, more efficiently to the consumer at the click of a button. And I remember as a consumer thinking, I don't want to watch a movie on my phone or my laptop. I want it on a giant 80 inch screen TV like this. I, th I thought Netflix was a terrible idea as a consumer. Well, thank heavens that Netflix didn't listen to me. And then they tried to sell their idea to Blockbuster. Blockbuster said, we'll pass. We are the six, the 800 pound gorilla in the marketplace. We determined what happens here. And they were, they were completely dominant with thousands and thousands of locations worldwide. So they made the biggest mistake of their life and they kind of poo pooed, put down, said it'll never work. And of course we all know the end of the story. Within five to six years, Blockbuster was filing for bankruptcy. And then of course, Amazon, look what Amazon did to retail worldwide. I mean, the largest company in the world. EXP is now doing this in the real estate world and it's for the better. It's for you. 
is totally for you. And so even this Tony Robbins noticed, uh, Hilton, he noticed that the cloud-based um, model is a superior model. Look, look at Hilton Corporation, been around for 100 years. And, uh, and then Airbnb, guy has an idea, kind of like Glenn Sanford, he starts Airbnb. 10 years ago, and the company was valued at $31 billion. Now this slide, this picture is a couple years old. Uh, last time I looked, uh, Airbnb was valued over $100 billion. Pretty amazing. Well, Hilton, they own real estate, very much bricks and mortar, very much a, you know, not a cloud-based company. They're, they've actually, their valuation's gone up to, last time I looked, about $25 billion. But look at that, 10 years versus 100 years. The growth, it, the growth is in the cloud-based sector. Look at Uber, look at DoorDash, look at Zoom. Look, again, we talked about Amazon and Netflix and Travelocity, the travel industry, digital downloads, iTunes, um, you know, you get the idea, Pandora. Life as we all know it is changing. And so, what is this cloud campus environment? Well, yeah, basically there are no desk fees and I paid desk fees for 20 years at the big brokerages. It cuts the overhead of a traditional type of office. We put our money, eXp, into lead generation and technology to support the agent to make a difference. So, I wanna cover this. Everybody thinks if I go to eXp, I'm gonna be working from the cloud. No, eXp works from the cloud. They have over a thousand employees worldwide that live in the cloud, work in the cloud. You will work at an office. We have a Regis Alliance, and there are 3,000 Regis's and spaces worldwide. I mean, Chicago, Paris, New York, San Diego, San Francisco to Miami, South Africa, Europe, everywhere you go. In Sacramento, where I'm from, there are eight Regis locations. So I didn't lose five Keller Williams offices. I gained three additional locations, and they're typically nicer, beautifully decorated, fully staffed conference rooms. It's amazing. So you will not be working from home. You will have office space and everyone gets a Regis membership at no cost to you to go into a Regis and work in their cafes and their, 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 their places of business, Wi-Fi, coffee, the whole thing. Now, what else do we have? Well, we have four main pillars at eXp. Number one, leads. That's pillar number one. Number two, training world-class training. Number three, stock. This is agent-owned, broker-owned. We own this together. That's a big deal. And finally, number four, because you're an owner, you get to share in the revenues. I knew in my 12 years at Remax, I did not share in the revenues of Remax International or my eight years at Keller Williams. I did not share in the revenue of Keller Williams International. And if you're at Coldwell Banker or Sotheby's, you know what I mean? So here's a chance to own the company you work at with the founder and share in the revenues. But let's get down to the first pillar, leads. Because that's really what agents want. EXP has formed a joint venture, a partnership with KV Core. You can Google them, YouTube them, watch some videos on what KV Core is, but it's a, a CRM, a contact retention management for clients, and it produces leads when you learn how to use it. Like a farmer, like someone with an orchard, you want to grow your real estate business. If you're commercial or residential, you want to grow and prosper. And so this CRM through KV Core is incredible and in helping agents dramatically with additional buyer and seller leads in residential and commercial. All right, so we're gonna talk some lead gen with you. So Brent just talked about- My favorite. One mm -hmm. of the pillars is lead generation with eXp. So this is how Kayleen and I see lead gen at eXp. So we believe um, in the tools that eXp provides and then also in video marketing and nurturing our sphere. So we'll do a quick go through of what that looks like. So KV Core, I had told you earlier that we were at eXp. Um, we moved over there from an independent brokerage because of the technology. Well, KV Core takes all of what Command does and puts it on steroids. So KV Core is a super smart CRM. They have an app that goes with it because as realtors, we're always on the go. You can set up your um, leads into campaigns. You can, you know, all of these um, pieces that people are paying thousands of dollars for each month, KV Core will do as 
um, your CRM. Yeah, people talk about command, KB Core, super powerful. So we yeah. get into that when you join in with us, tons of trainings on it, which we're gonna get into in a little bit. So the second one is, you know, kind of our bread and butter a little bit, video marketing. We believe in the power of video marketing. We show you how to do it when you come join us here at eXp. We teach you some of it is even copy and paste. It's super mm -hmm. simple. So it takes that fear out of video marketing. It takes that fear out of learning how to edit, learning to spend all your time doing videoing, and we break it down for you to show you how to do it so it flows. And we believe in video marketing marketing because we have seen that when by the time that lead reaches out to you with video marketing, they are a hot lead and they are ready to go. Complete difference than any other type of marketing Lori and I have used in our real estate business. And then last but not least, we talk about is nurturing those leads. So, you know, they kind of all three go together, but once you got those leads, then what are you gonna do with them? You gotta nurture them, you gotta grow them. And we just had someone reach out to this morning from our current clients who were from our video marketing, mm -hmm. who now, you know, we've been nurturing them and how do we do that? So we also teach you how to, you, you know, work your sphere, I guess is how they say it. Yeah. And the beauty is at eXp, why we have done 600, 700,000, we keep upping our, our amount that we make each year, but in our third year of the real estate is because all three of those, the power of all three of, you know, KV core generate leads, video marketing generate leads, and how we help you guys learn to nurture those leads and, and nurture your sphere is a very powerful tool. And so beyond leads, what do agents need? They need training. They need world-class training. And the same great trainers that were at Remax and Coldwell Banker and Sotheby's and Keller Williams, those same great trainers are at, at eXp. The same, it's the same or better. Everyone's so excited. In my opinion, it's even more powerful. So we have world-class training. We have 10 to 15 classes a day in the cloud, 10 to 15 live classes a day. You can raise your hand, ask questions. I've spoken to thousands of people in the eXp cloud campus at one time. And there's, these happen all this, commercial real estate, there's luxury real estate, there's residential real estate, how to build a $100 million sales team, dominate your market with social media, business planning for 2022 or 2023. There's so many great topics and how to learn how to sharpen your ax, how to become more powerful in real estate for your families. And so we have that. We also have live training. We have, uh, this is in Sacramento, California. We've rented some of the largest uh, halls. This is a wedding venue. We packed out with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of agents and broker associates, and we're training on lead generation. So this is pretty cool. The third pillar is what? It's called equity. Something I didn't have. You know what I had after 12 years at Remax, and I'm grateful for Remax. I had trophies and plaques. Trophies, plaques, recognition, right? Can you relate? I don't know what brokerage you're at. Hey, you're number seven in the region. You're number three in the office. Oops, you moved up to number two in the office. And now you're number one, and we're trying to you know, sell more, do more, be recognized. But what are those trophies? What are those plaques? What is that worth when it's all done and said? You know what I had to show after 12 years at Remax? Nothing. I moved companies. I closed out whatever I had in escrow, which, by the way, were 37 listings in active escrows. Closed them out. Moved to Keller Williams, and that was it. It was like pulling your finger out of a glass of water. <laughs> water just goes back across. It was like I was never at Remax. I had nothing to sell. And that's what it is like for 99% of all agents. Um, I go to Keller Williams, same thing, eight years, won awards, this, that, won trophies and plaques and recognition. When I left, I did have, they have a program called profit sharing. And, um, and so I had a little bit of profit. I think I was averaging $700 a month, in all fairness to Keller Williams, after eight years. And, but we can all agree that $700 a month isn't gonna change your life. And I had enrolled 55 agents for Keller Williams because I was a very happy, Keller Williams agent. I'm very grateful for Keller Williams, an amazing company. And I literally sponsored 55 agents and said, come to Keller Williams and prosper and grow. And that was generating me 700 a month. And at one point we were the number one office in profit nationwide, Roseville, California, but it was making 700 a month after eight years, just kind of weekend fund money. So that wasn't going to change my life, but this whole equity piece. Wow. Um, 
Let me explain how it works. There are five ways to, uh, to develop equity or stock in EXP, equity, to become an owner. A rising tide rises all ships. Not just when I was at Remax, I watched Dave Linegar become a billionaire. When I was at Keller Williams, I watched Gary Keller become a billionaire. Maybe you were at Coldwell Banker and you watched them sell that to Realogy, a billion dollar hedge fund. Maybe you're a Berkshire Hathaway person and, and you got bought up and who owns that? A billionaire called Warren Buffett. Stop working for billionaires, you know? You're as good as your last sale. How many got in escrow right now? Three, you got seven. Oh no, you have 19, I get it. No, you have 49. I had 55. I had 55 in escrow at one point. Ask me what I get paid today for that. Nothing, I can answer that. Nothing, whatever you sold three years ago, seven years ago, 15 years ago, you don't get paid today. But if you can own a piece of the brokerage you work at, a significant piece, a brokerage that's going into multi, multi-billion dollar valuations, which we are, look us up. We're publicly traded on the NASDAQ. Last time I looked over $6 billion and I get to be a part of that. That's pretty exciting. So here's how it works. When you close your first transaction at eXp, you get awarded stock. You become what's called a shareholder. You get to share in the equity of eXp with the founder, Glenn Sanford. That's pretty cool. Number two, when you cap, we have a $16,000 cap and an 80-20 split. And then when you cap, you go to a 100% split. Most of our agents who are productive cap in the first month or two or three, which means they're at a 100% split for the next 10, you know, eight, nine, 10, 11 months. I cap what well, we cap in the first month every year. And we're, we're at 100% for 11 months. And the most EXP gets is $16,000. It's like that for everyone. Now, it's not the lowest cap in the marketplace, but it's certainly not the most expensive cap. It's competitively priced. You get a lot of value for your $16,000. Next is, when you sponsor people, when you tell people like, and this happens at all companies, if, you, if I were to go to Century 21, people can see, why are you at Century 21? I'm like, oh my gosh, because of this, this, and this. I go, you know what? Maybe I could use a change. Do you think your manager would talk to me at Century 21? Sure. Why do I know this? Because this happened to all of us. You could work for Compass. You could work at Sotheby's. You could work at Coldwell Banker. I'm second generation and my kids are third generation. My folks put 55 years in real estate. The last 25 years at Coldwell Banker. And guess what? Marge Anderson referred them to Coldwell Banker in 1983. Ask me what Marge Anderson got paid for 25 years. I'll answer, nothing, zero. My friend, Mike Pushek, my neighbor, went to Remax back in 1999. And within four years, he was selling 330 homes a year. Pretty awesome. Remax was so excited. They're like, Brent, thank you for referring Mike. He's amazing. Guess what? Ask me what I got paid. Nothing. Remax got paid 330 times a year. Now I realize that's a good story, but how many of you refer to friend to your brokerage and they sell 20, 30, 40 homes a year, much more normal? That means your broker got paid 20, 30, 40 times a year. What did you get paid? Nothing. Stop trading the cow for magic beans. The referral of the agent or broker associate into commercial EXP or residential EXP is invaluable. How would you like to get paid almost every single time they sell a house for the rest of your life? That is what EXP is about. That's why people are so excited. So you're gonna, every time you sponsor someone, you enroll someone for EXP, you tell them about it and they join, they say, yeah, I'm here because of Brent, I'm here because of Rob, I'm here because of Cindy or Tom or Karen. You become what's called their sponsor. And when they close their first sale, you get a stock award. My first year, I won 51 stock awards. The previous 20 years, Zero. I won trophies and plaques and recognition, but that is not worth a lot. Next, we have our Icon Agent Award. And what that is, is when you basically um, cap, you, you cap at 16,000 paid and you do 20 additional sales. For most agents in the country, it means you sell 28 to 30 homes a year. For most agents. Depends upon your market, the price of homes. But most agents means you sell 28 or 30 homes a year. And what happens there is you win a $16,000 stock award. So if you pay in 16,000 and you receive a $16,000 stock award, what did it really cost you to be at eXp? I mean, think about that. So our first year we went to eXp, I capped in a month, you know, cause we sell a lot. And then guess what? We did 20 additional sales. And a few months later, we got a $16,000 stock award. And someone said, but you don't know what that'll be worth in three years. Cause there's three year investing on those stock awards. I go, you're right. But I know what the trophies and plaques were worth after 20 years, nothing. 
I'll take my chance with this penny stock. Well, during that time, we went on the NASDAQ. We, we became a publicly traded company on the NASDAQ, and the stock exploded. And that stock award became worth, not only was it worth 16, three years later, when I finally invested and I could sell it, it was worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Pretty cool. So the most important part is choosing us as your sponsor. <laughs> Just choose a sponsor that is gonna fit with how you want to do real estate. The most important decision that you make when joining eXp, I would say. So we hear a lot of agents and they said, eXp, I had no guidance. Well, that all has to do with your sponsor. So if you're a new agent, you will get a mentor and the mentor is more the logistics on your state um, you know, yeah. contracts, if you're part of a team. Well, the mentor different. only if you're new, right? Only if you're, if you're not new. a new agent, you don't have to have a sponsor. You'll but your you'll sponsor broker. can be somebody totally different. Anywhere. And your sponsor is more of that business development. They will put the right people in front of you, the right products in front of you, wherever you're needing help with. you That's your sponsor's job to help get whatever that missing piece is into your business so that you can succeed. Yeah, this is a don't go it alone part, right? So yeah. you want to join with someone who is going to challenge you, who is going to, you know, make you think outside Hold the box. accountable. Right? I would say Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. So if you're currently at your brokerage and you want to come over to eXp, let's make it so that way you are excelling at your real estate business. You're thinking outside the box. You're doing something new. You're excited to get up every day and do that real estate. And so that's what choosing your sponsor should provide you. So your sponsor should have um, success plan set up in it already in place. Your sponsor should help hold you accountable. Your sponsor should review your goals with you and hold you accountable to attaining those goals. They should be able to put the right people in front of you to really um, propel your real estate business. We have a full onboarding program already set up. It'll walk you through what that looks like. I know that's some angst when you're joining and switching brokerage, all those little uh, pain points that come with it. We have a full onboarding system. It'll walk you through it step by step. So reach out and come join with the finest agents. We will even send you a finest agents hat. So this is where it all started. So we are going to talk with you about cappings. So every most brokerages, you are going to have a capping amount. And the beauty of EXP is, is that you, you know, do that yearly planning, monthly planning, you set those goals. Um, I'm sure every agent has the goal to cap. But me. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> So the whole point of capping is that you now with EXP, that is your ticket to a $16,000 paycheck in shared stock in the company. So when you're giving a share brokerage anyways, you know, whether you're taking a 90-10 split or an 80-20 split or 70-30 split, you know, eventually you're paying in that 15 to 30,000, depending on what brokerage you're with. EXP 16,000 you cap and you choose the right sponsor we get the right lead generation the right marketing in place with the right trainings i guarantee you you're going to cap and we'll get to iconing in a minute so you're going to get that money back and you're going to get it into stocks and so when you talk about real estate you talk about eventually wanting an exit plan and we talk about this you know at the end a little bit as well but having just an extra stock in the stock market that doesn't happen in real estate. Well, and why not get paid for doing the same thing you're gonna be doing at any other brokerage you're with? Yes, you're gonna be paying in, we think of it as just, you know, somewhat of a savings account that we'll be able to access one day. Um, the stock will continue to grow because their EXP is just at the tip of the iceberg for growth. And so there are many agents out there. We've had a ton of agents moving over this last year. Do you remember the exact numbers? 77,000. See? Throughout the United total. States total and now. only... Wait. I don't know in the year. 77 total agents now with EXP. Their growth yes. is amazing. So I think that's the end of our little stock option yes. video. But we want to break in and interrupt Brett for a little bit to kind of explain to us how amazing that 16,000 cap and is and get it back in stock. Yep. Pretty cool. Finally, we have our agent equity program. And what the agent equity program is, you can enroll, it's optional, but you can take 5% of every closing and purchase EXPI stock at a 10% discount. Go talk to a financial planner. They go, give me your money. And if you want to, you know, medium risk, it should be about a 10% return 
at the end of your first year? How would you like to get 10% day one? That is our agent equity program. It's optional. You don't have to do it. I don't know anyone who's not taken a part of that. Then we've just seen this. Look at the history of our stock. It's just incredible. It's one of those unicorn moments in the world. It's like that Facebook, that Amazon, that Google moment. And it's in your industry. You're a commercial real estate agent. You're a residential broker or residential agent. This is in your field. This is for you. And so finally, we have revenue share. Now, what revenue share is, it's what got me excited. The two truth, everything I've told you, I wasn't excited about. Everything I just told you, I went, okay, 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 yeah, that seems nice. But I wasn't, I wasn't uh, fired up. I wasn't like, it didn't ring my bell. This blew my mind. Literally, I couldn't even sleep. So let me explain to you what revenue share is all about. We have a seven tier system that our founder, Glenn Sanford, copied from Keller Williams. If you, Keller Williams is the largest real estate company in the world, they have a seven tier system that they do profit sharing through. And if the office is profitable, you can get some profit share. Well, I had referred 55 people who they told people and they told people to take up for seven tiers. I had hundreds in what's called my profit sharing tree and it was paying me 700 a month. Okay, something made, almost made my car payment. And I was like, cool, this is great. Um, when I referred over 100 people to Remax in my 12 years, because oh, if you're going to do well in real estate, your family, friends, and relatives want to get into real estate. And they, they go, can I work at Remax? So I'm like, sure. I sent 100 people to Remax in my 12 years, easily. I got three $10 Starbucks cards. Three! If you're gonna do well at Sotheby's, or Compass, or Realty One, or HomeSmart, wherever you are, your family and friends will join, and you will probably get paid not much of anything forever. Again, stop trading the cow for magic beans. You know what's worth so much more than a million dollar listing? It's an agent that produces millions of dollars in sales every single year, and you give it away for free. Like, here you go, take my friend Tommy. He only sells 18 homes a year. What's he doing in sales? Oh, he's doing about five, six million a year in volume. Uh-huh. And then whatever brokerage you sent Tommy to, they get paid on five to six million dollars worth of volume year after year after year after year. And you get paid a big thank you from the sales manager. Man, we love Tommy. I'll bet you love Tommy. I'll bet you love him. And so here's a chance to be compensated from that. EXP believes you should be compensated. So here's how it works. This, this middle column here is worth, it's, it adds up to the $16,000 cap. Our founder, Glenn Sanford, said, I'm going to carve off the first $2,800 if you refer an agent and they cap, which in most markets means you sell seven, eight homes a year. That's it. The national average agent sells like six. So it's a little bit over the national average to cap typically. You'll receive $2,800. What happens if they only do half a cap? Well, then you get half of the $2,800. You get $1,400. What if they sell one or two homes, like a quarter cap? Then you get a quarter of this, $700. So they sell a home, you get paid revenue share the next month. Every month on the 22nd, you get paid revenue share. Month after month after month as that agent is at EXP. I refer to agents four and a half years ago. There are most of them, 90% of them are all still here. And I still get paid, not from the agents. When I had the team, I get paid from my agents, 50, 40, 30%. But I get paid from EXP, from their 20%. We have an 80, 20%. They share back to me how much? Up to 2,800 per agent. Let me give you a simple example. Someone asked me, he said, well, what if I told 10 agents about this? Well, and they all capped? Yeah, they all sold seven or eight homes. I mean, these aren't even highly producing it. They're not even making a living. If you did that, you get 10 times 2,800, which is $28,000. Well, that's not that much money. If I live in the New York or Manhattan or San Francisco, I can earn $28,000 and sell a house. Yep, but can you do this? If those agents stay next year, EXP pays you again. So you mean I get 28,000 the first year and 28,000 the second year? Yes. All right, so now we are gonna talk about rev share. So I'll get to why I'm wearing some boxing gloves in a little bit. But we're gonna break down rev share for you guys a little bit, like Brent already explained it. You are going to, and like, this is where it gets a little salesy sometimes. People are like, are you trying to recruit me? Is it salesy? What am I doing? Like, why are you doing this? But honestly, like how many times have you been in real estate? And if you're a new agent and you're doing, you know, you're gonna get into it, and you're loving what you're doing and you're good at it, people are gonna naturally gravitate to asking you what you're doing and if they can come over. And so how many agents have we sent over to Keller Williams previously because they wanted to get into what we were doing in marketing. They wanted to get into the fun atmosphere we provided and have them be successful a ton. 
but now we get compensated for it. So the, and we're gonna fight those old brokerage ways and <laughs> we get paid for it, not the upper brokerages, upper bosses or whatever you call it, those, we get paid for it. So that is the beauty of RevShare. So RevShare was something that Lori and I knew existed. We had no intentions of, you no. know, creating a revenue stream off of RevShare. And little did we know that it would be our biggest source of income coming in besides just producing real estate as an EXP agent. Right. So it definitely, you know, the more you get into it, you're going to get your first, you know, couple hundred dollars deposited. And then when you get up to like a thousand dollars a month, which we are you know, only a year in and we are getting, you know, thousands of dollars coming in each month in revenue share, you see the beauty and the reason why rev share is so important. So as you can see, it kind of adds upon each other, like, like Brent's going to show you here. And so again, rev share, the beauty of the EXP. So now you've received $56,000 for referring 10 agents. What if they sell the third year? You get it again. The fourth year, you get it again. So when do I stop getting it? Never. It's written into our charter. If they stay 10 years, you would get $28,000 a year for 10 years, which is $280,000 for referring 10 capping agents. Again, in most markets, it's seven to eight sales. The average home price is around $400,000, you know, and so it's, you know, maybe seven to eight sales. I know in the Bay Area, it's one or two sales in certain places where the home is San Diego and different places. It could be two, three sales to cap. Now, let's keep going. So let's show you how this works. Let me show you a five-year example of how this works. Now, keep in mind, every agent they tell, you tell five or 10 agents, they will begin to tell agents. You can't stop them from telling agents. This is how Coldwell Banker became Coldwell Banker. This is how Century 21 became Century 21 and Keller Williams and Sotheby's and Compass. If you like your brokerage and people are going to say, how do you like it? Like, I like Compass. It's great. And they join Compass. How are you compensated? CDXP, we have what's called compensation for contribution. If you compensate to the uh, growth of this company, you are gonna be, if you contribute to the growth of the company, you're gonna be compensated. So here's how it works. Everyone you tell is your tier one. Everyone they tell is your tier two. Everyone they tell is your tier three, four, five, six, and seven. Keller Williams created this 25 years ago. They've been doing profit sharing for 25 years, except their offices lately, you know? I mean, you know, if you worked there, you know what it was. I told you what mine was. So watch this. Let me give you an example. If you tell five or more agents, it unlocks tier two. If you tell 10 or more agents, it unlocks tier three. 15, 20, 25, it grows in increments of five. And then when you get to uh, 40, it unlocks the seventh tier. So let me show you what happens when you just get paid on two tiers, two tiers. So it's our, a five-year example. You may do this in three years. You may do it in 10 years. It's just an example. I did it in six months. Again, this is an example. What I'm gonna show you, I personally did in six months. Let's say it takes you five years. Let's say you tell two agents a year for the next five years. How many of you personally told? 10. You're now receiving 2,800 per agent. Tell agents you sell at least seven or eight homes a year that they're capping agents. You'll get the full 2,800. I didn't even talk to agents unless they sold 10 homes or more a year. So I made sure that I was getting paid 2,800 on every one. 10 times 2,800, there's the 28,000. Remember I said if they stayed for 10 years, that'd be 280,000. What I didn't tell you is they will tell other agents. Let's say the 10 that you sponsor here, that they tell 10. And if they all tell 10, and by the way, I told 10 in my first two or three weeks, and they all told 10 in six months. So it doesn't have to take five years. But let's say in your case, these 10 agents each tell two agents a year. Five years later, how much will they have told? 10. It's a pretty dialed back conservative analogy. Well, guess what? 10 agents times 10 is 100 agents. Every agent on your tier two is worth $3,200. $3,200. So if you have 100 there, that's 320,000 plus your 28, that's 348,000 a year. So I was 51 years old. I owned real estate. I have stock, stocks. I have different investments. I had nothing giving me 348,000 a year cash flow to retire. What is your 401k? When can you just take a breath and not work so hard? Okay, so you love what you do and you are a real estate agent. Maybe you have thought about an exit strategy, maybe you have not, but I can guarantee you at some point you've probably pondered what it's going to take for you to retire. So that is the beauty of the EXP business model is that they've created an exit strategy for 
entrepreneurs like ourselves to be able to succeed in what we're doing at the time. And then also by doing the same thing we're doing, have a plan in place for an exit strategy to come. Right, and sure, a lot of you might have investments, you might have some real estate rental properties, you might have you know, been planning with that 401k hopefully for a while, but eventually you're gonna wanna see how to exit you know, real estate out of production, out of production and to have, you know, we talked about you're only as good as your last sale. So when you're going to leave, you have your, you know, your rental properties, your investment strategy is great, but do you also have a rev, a constant rev stream coming in? Do you also have some stock options that you could cash out, especially if you've been into EXP from the beginning stages, like we are in right now and are growing so rapidly. And so that is what we love about, you know, this pillar of EXP is that it provides that source of, um, I guess, uh, confidence in us as well as we can see, hey, we could retire someday. Well, and Lori and I got into real estate, not with the mindset that we wanted that exit strategy, but it only is natural to think when you're Smart. doing the same thing over and over and over again, what is the big picture here? Like as agents, we make good money. And so we start investing. This is a sure thing that if you just do what you're already doing and sell real estate, you are going to be creating those other rev shares. So joining EXP, um, one of the best decisions we've made, probably the best decision we've made with our real estate um, career. And little did we know at the time that choosing our sponsor was the key to our success. Right, we'd love to have you guys come join us. Um, as you can see, we have fun, but we also take real estate <laughs> pretty seriously and we get right down to it. We challenge each other and we think outside the box a little bit. And I think that's the important part to not get stagnant in real estate. And so we would love to have you come join us. We'd love to have you do go through our onboarding process and help walk you through that and give you those trainings and support that you need here at eXp because you never want to go it alone. So if you saw something in this video, heard something in this video, and you have more questions, we'd love to jump on a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting. We will have the link below in the description, but just grab one of those um, Calendly links. Is it a right fit? Um, we, it's Lori and I who are on the Zoom call, one of us, both of us, and we can answer any questions that you may have, address any concerns. We want to hear from you and how we can help your real estate business succeed and double over at least the next year. Um, so just grab one of those appointments. That's your next step. And um, we'd love to chat with you. Yeah. And special shout out to Brent Go for making that wonderful video. Thanks for yeah. letting us parrot it. And again, so come join us at The Finest Agents here at eXp. You won't regret it. I haven't had to sell real estate in three years. I've been able to retire because of this model. So guess what? I'm showing you how to make $348,000 a year. By the way, I ended up telling you over 40 my first year. So I was able to do this. And if you take four times this amount, it's a million three nine. It's almost 1.4 million a year. And my second year, I earned $1.2 million. So I told 40, not limited. You could do as many as you want. As a Keller Williams team leader, I recruited 177 in one year, not 10. Think, but that's you, Brett. You seem to be able to talk on camera. You seem to be able to present this. What if I help you? What if you hit press play? Well, this is a recording. I shared a video very much like this by a gentleman named Rob Flick. And I would press play and watch because I wasn't able to present it yet. And all, I shared it with eight of my friends as a beta test. This is what I call a save me beta test. And I recommend you do the same thing. Eight of my best friends, all of them sold their franchises, quit their jobs as general managers for Remax franchises and general managers for Berkshire Hathaway, sold franchises, which shall remain nameless, but they sold them, big franchises you would know. Top producers, eight for eight, all came to EXP. Do a beta test, show this to people. Two additional points about EXP that it's amazing is number one, about a year and a half ago, Glenn passed the 50-50 initiative. And what the 50-50 initiative is, he guaranteed that half of all the revenues of EXP would go back to the agents in the form of revenue share. So at two billion, a billion goes to a company, a billion to the agents in the form of cash, spendable money, revenue share. When we hit 10 billion, and we will hit 10 billion, 5 billion to the company, 5 billion to you, 
to myself, to the commercial and residential agents and brokers. It's going to be amazing. That is the 50-50 initiative. Very powerful. We're super excited about that. Now, one more thing regarding the $16,000 caps. I came, I had buying agents that worked for me, showing agents. I also had some listing specialists that worked for me that took the listings that I, I couldn't handle, that were far away, or maybe I just didn't want to deal with. So if you have, if those of you out there that are watching this, or you're a brokerage and you have a team, it's half a cap. So your agents, all of my agents get to come over on an $8,000 cap. And they all cap in the first month or two, but now they get health care through EXP. You gotta pay for it, but it's a huge reduction. You get stock awards, you get revenue share, you get all the benefits, 10 to 15 live classes a day, and your agents are only paying $8,000 a year. Now, if you have a large brokerage team and, and of over 10, Maybe you have 20, maybe you have 40. I just brought on 200 agents and brokers this past week. Myself, over 200 in one week. We see this all the time now. I'm um, 1,000 in Poland, 800 in Nigeria. International growth. We're about to open those countries. We're looking at opening those countries. They get to come, if you're a large team, at 4,000 an agent, a quarter cap. So if you have a team of 25 agents, they pay $4,000. They'll, they'll pay an 80-20 split on a deal or two. They're capped and they get all the benefits. They're not treated less than, like uh, they don't get stock, they don't get revenue share. They get stock, they get revenue share, they get all the benefits you and I get. But it makes it affordable for a large brokerage like yourself or a large team like yourself to come to eXp and it, it makes it all work. And so who do you talk to? Anyone in the world, anyone. Uh, today, I have agents in all 50 states, every province of Canada that we're in, and 19 countries. Do you know that you know people who live in Israel? You know people who live in Portugal and Germany and Brazil and Colombia and Panama and Australia? I have agents all over the world. You could have the same thing. What's the potential growth for EXP? Well, I believe in the next eight years, we'll open an additional 80 countries. We're in 19. 81 countries will bring us into 100 countries. Worldwide, they say there's 208 industrial nations, I believe is the number, and approximately 25 million agents and brokers worldwide. Nobody has the exact numbers, but if you dig around, you kind of come up on this 25 million. India, for example, has 2 million agents alone. The US and Canada have 2 million licensed agents and broker associates, commercial and residential, alone. So in 208 countries, there are about 25 million. I believe that in the next Eight years, we're going to have a million agents in a hundred countries. Right now, there are 66,000 of us. To put that in perspective, I don't think you get this. Remax, which is an incredible company, it took them 20 years to get to 20,000. Keller Williams, which is an amazing company, it took them 19 years to get to 20,000. EXP just went from 1,200 to 66,000 in four years. I'm telling you, EXP is going to change real estate as we know it worldwide, just like Uber changed the taxi cab business and Airbnb is changing the way people find a place to sleep at night and, and DoorDash is changing the way people get food and uh, Pandora and iTunes is changing the way people get their music and Travelocity and Truvago is changing the way people get their airline tickets and their travel. The world is changing. It's going digital. Don't be stuck in a vinyl record cassette tape world. You need to change with it. You've got to change with it. When Henry Ford invited the Model T, there were, there were I think, 600,000 horse and buggy drivers. And they were upset about the technology of that Model T. And it would backfire and scare the horses. But you know what? The automobile changed the world. Do not be afraid of technology. Embrace it. It is a good thing. So here's a summary of what AXP is all about. We have no desk fees, no royalty fees, and no franchise fees because guess what? We're not a franchise. I worked for two of the biggest franchises in the world my first two decades. Decade after decade, I paid desk fees. Decade after decade, royalty fees and franchise fees. No more. EXP is a national and international real estate company. We just have a simple 80-20 split. Now, some of you are going to write, I'm on an 80-20 split. I have 80-20 right now. Who do you work for? Berkshire Hathaway? Sotheby's? Century 21? Which franchise is it? Coldwell Banker? Oh, it's, you name whatever one it is. Okay. What about that franchise fee of 6%? It's the same thing. Even right now, you're going, oh, yeah. So really, you're on an 80-20 with the office, but a 6% typically will get paid out to the franchise. You're really on a 74-26. 26% of every check you get goes back to the big brand. You don't need 
the brand. You think you need the brand, you don't need it. At eXp, I broke all my sales records here, and it's an 80-20 split, no 6 or 6.9 or 6.7% franchise fee, just an 80-20. You're gonna make more on every sale for your family. This is about your family. The cap is 16. Once that's paid in, you go to 100% split right here. Where are the startup costs? What are the standard fees? Well, it's a $149 startup fee one time. I paid that four and a half years ago. 85 a month is our cloud brokerage fee. You get a Regis membership, you get a SkySlope, you get Breakthrough Broker, you get a database system called KV, KV Core, a database and lead generation website. You get email, you get access to the cloud, the 10 to 15 live classes a day. Do the math on that. That's 40 to 60 classes a week. And, um, and then E&O, it's $40 per sale for your E&O. For commercial, it's a little bit more. I think it's $250 a commercial transaction. But for residential, it's $40 and capped at $500 a year. These are the fees. So as we close today, let me ask you a question. Where are you going to be in five years? What are you going to be doing? Commercial real estate, residential real estate, luxury real estate. You're going to be selling 40 homes a year, 80 homes a year. I know for myself, I was 51 years old. I knew that in five years I'd be 56 and I'd just be out there going on more listing appointments, going on more, you know, working with my team. And it was great, but I, I didn't have an option. I didn't have an exit strategy. And without a dream, you can't have a dream come true. Without a plan, then you plan to fail. Nothing's going to change. You've been doing this for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Enough is enough. I want to challenge you. Do your homework on eXp. Watch this webinar again. Someone's watching this with you right now. Go to your best friend, your best buddy in real estate and watch this with them and get their opinion. I did that eight times and two of them were franchise owners. They sold their franchises. Two of them ran big, big brokerages for uh, one was a general manager for Remax, another one a general manager for Berkshire Hathaway. They quit their jobs. Every single one of them, big stars in real estate, they all eight for eight came to eXp. Show this to them. Say, I need you to save me from making a mistake. Do a save me beta test. I wish I'd done it 18 times. But go do that. And then once you've, you, you decide I'm ready, go to join.exprealty.com and apply. Apply. Go through the application. What's the application? It looks like this when you get there. Right here. Some basic information. Within a day or two after getting checked out, eXp is going to send you an approval letter. They, what they won't do is they're not going to move your license. You have to move your license. They're also not going to contact your broker. They are not going to contact your broker. It's very private between you and eXp. But make sure you do this because when you're ready to join eXp, it usually goes like this. Okay, I'm ready. I'm listing two homes. I have a buyer. I'm writing an offer today. What happens is it takes two or three days to go through this process. And what happens is those listings get stuck at your old brokerage. That buyer gets stuck at your old brokerage. That could have been half your cap. So instead of you know being at eight, you you know, it's like your cap turned into a $24,000 cap from 16. So make sure you get this out of the way, prepare for success. And then finally, look at this. Our company is going global. We went on the NASDAQ. We became a publicly traded company. We joined Cisco. We joined Intel. We joined PepsiCo and Apple and all these massive, unbelievable companies on the NASDAQ. And we turned into a multi-billion dollar company. That's your company. It's not Gary Keller's company or Warren Buffett's company or, or Realogy that owns, uh, what, Coldwell Banker, Sotheby's, Century 21, Better Homes, and 24 other brands. This is your company. You get a piece of it. You're going to build equity like a homeowner who buys a home or someone who buys a building and you develop equity. This is it. It's what we tell our clients. Why are you not doing this? So I cannot wait to meet you someday. And um, this was the very exciting day for us a year and a half ago, two years ago, when we hit the closing button on the NASDAQ. We shut down the financial markets world. Wide. It's an honor. They gave Glenn Sanford America's newest billionaire. But guess what? While Glenn became a billionaire, many of us became millionaires. That had never happened before. So I challenge you, check out eXp. Once we pass the test, join us. We'd love to have you with us. I cannot wait to meet you. Get back with the person who had you watch this and say, tell me more about eXp. Do your homework. Do not miss this opportunity. This is a life-changing, world-changing, seismic shift in the way real estate's being done worldwide. Join us. There's 900,000 agents coming worldwide. Your timing couldn't be better. We got rid of the potholes. We got rid of the gravel roads. We've paved them. We just paved the on-ramp to the freeway. Enter you. 
congratulations on your timing. I cannot wait to meet you.